The whole process of this trial started with our local land services staff taking on board advice or questions from producers. And this whole issue of internal parasite control was a high priority for them. Parasites which are inside animals, when you expose them to chemicals, they will learn to outsmart them. So over time, the products that we use become less and less effective. So that fundamentally is the problem. We had a lot of steers here that we could use and utilise for a project. I thought it'd be good for beef producers to see resistance on drenches. We had a number of different treatments and uh, about 40 steers per treatment. And we were looking to test the efficacy of a range of different commercial products. 14 days after treatment, we tested for resistance and found that those steers treated with Doramectin had significant levels of resistant worms. And so those cattle had much lower weight gains. From that, we can see that single active uh, worm control products, their days seem to be numbered. What we learned in the trial was that if we use an ineffective drench, we lose productivity. Our cattle don't grow as well. So to put some numbers on that, the use of sodectin platinum gave an eight kilogram advantage compared to doramectin, and it gave an 11 kilogram advantage compared to control animals when looking at that over 63 days. So basically what the results showed us is that worms can have an impact on productivity. And what this means for producers is that having a worm control program is, is really important at the end of the day because it's costing them money. Look, I believe the trial worked very well very practical and commercially relevant. The take home to the producers is that selecting the correct drench product for your enterprise is going to be a great opportunity to um, increase weight gains and, and ultimately animal performance.